Welcome back, tribe. I have one here from a new channel recommended by you guys. Link's always in the description. Woman regrets destroying her marriage of 20 years. Definitely, a divorce is definitely like a death. It's like someone punched me in my stomach, in my gut, and just like <laughs> took my air out of my body. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is a big deal. <laughs> this is a big deal. I'm going to leave my home that I've been in for 20 years <laughs> and rebuild a life that wasn't supposed to be alone. <laughs> it was supposed to be with him. <laughs> it's still hard. Rebuilding your life at 51 years old. Why are you leaving? It's a lot. After four and a half long long years it is uh -huh. finally over oh it's over <laughs> i am now a divorced woman and i where's the happiness why are there tears usually the mainstream tries to tell women that they're liberated when they get divorced that they're in power that it's going to be so awesome to be a free on the streets prowling again for strange why the tears Mm. knew when this happened and when I got the final word, I knew I would have different emotions and oh. I tried preparing for them, but I don't know how you actually prepare for it because what I feel like is like someone punched me in my stomach, in my gut and just oh. like took my air out of my body. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And I'm not crying over the fact that we're no longer together. I'm crying over the fact that none of it should have happened like it happened. And there's this sadness inside of me that like... <laughs> It's going to somehow affect our grandchildren and Bruh. generations to come. And I just hate that. You know, I hate that. Why'd you do it then? And God, I wish I hated him. Oh Bruh. my gosh. I wish I hated that man. But I don't hate him. What the hell? <laughs> it's, it's rationalization what we're trying to do here. Okay. I'm going to be okay. Like I'm going to be okay, but I'm not going to lie. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is a big deal. <laughs> this Ooh. is a big deal. I'm going to leave my home that I've been in for 20 years. Why? <laughs> and rebuild a life that... Stop the cap. No, you're not. Wasn't supposed to be alone. <laughs> it was supposed to be with him. Why? But don't get confused. Do not get confused. My life is good, and I am blessed. Here's the cope. But it's still hard. Rebuilding your life at 51 years old. Trying to find a place to live. Probably relocating to a new city or a new state. So you're leaving your it's grandkids too. Jeez, but I'm perfect. going to do this. Good luck. You just watch and see. <laughs> I'm going to be better than ever. <laughs> That's this illusion. I've got cope. this. God. Wow, dude, do you see this? This is talking to myself, but putting it on TikTok. This is so cringe. Man, this generation, ugh, this is crazy. Can you imagine being 51 years old, leaving your family, crying about you leaving your family, saying how it'll affect your grandkids, and then coping to yourself on a video to get some clout on the internet because you're alone. And this is how you manage this stressful period in your life you're going to move away to a whole new state start over from zero aka do the worst thing you could possibly do for your grandkids then somehow still make it about yourself and then try to pat yourself on the back of everything will just be okay i promise myself man this one's this one's legendary okay if we're going to be completely honest we knew we knew pretty early on who they really were they showed us and i know this for a fact because people can't hide their true okay. colors for a long time 
I mean, I have to be completely honest with myself, which I don't enjoy doing because then I have to see all my faults and all of the things that I did that led up to the end of my marriage, the breakup of relationships. And that's the hard part. But I'm going to do the hard part because I'm not going to continue this pattern. I've had this pattern my whole entire life and I refuse to continue. So from now on, instead of talking so much about what happened or what was done, as I like to say, maybe to me, which makes me sound like a victim and I'm not, I am going to focus on my role in things and what was broken inside of me that allowed the things to happen. That's a good point. That one works. I knew. I knew not to get married. Pretty, pretty long time ago, knew not to do this. But I did it anyway. Why? Fear? Yeah. What were my fears? <laughs> Afraid of being alone. I was a single mom with five children. Holy shit. And here came this man that I thought was going to rescue me and save me. Oh, my God. And he did, actually. He did. <laughs> wow. But the problem was, you. by allowing that... Okay, see, it was great. We were very self-introspective. We were getting to the bottom of our deepest fears and traumas, figuring out how we ended up in this position. I was with it until then. Until she said... I was a single mom of five kids. Mr. McSimpy came and actually saved me. Still saved me while I was broken. And I strung him along. And after my five kids have now all gone to college and become productive members of society, and he footed the bill for every single one of them, it is time to work on myself, be alone, divorce this man, take everything from him. He has no use for me anymore. You see how much they care? Wow. Wow, I thought we were going to have something positive here. To happen, I put my whole being into this man. I know you did it. And I was no longer myself anymore. Okay. So I have been spending the last few years trying to figure out who the hell I am. Could why I do the him. things that I do. Could have did it with him. It's Five not kids. fun. Five. This woman is 51 years old, and she is still talking about trying to find who the hell I am, why I do the things I do. I really don't think I would describe me personally as a shit parent because I don't even know what a shit parent is. I would say I was more like a mentally unstable, controlling bitch back then. Oh yeah, my God. I think that's a Emotional fair assessment dad. of how I was. <laughs> Thank God my children are mentally stable and they are able to forgive me for so wow. many things because they realize I'm not the same person that I was when they were growing up. Shit parent. Now, I'm no longer mentally unstable, nor am I controlling. Stop the cap. The bitch part? Mm, Bruh. Sometimes. This is a message to the one who will be moving in after I move out. Ah, uh, here we go. First, let me start by saying Nobody congratulations. Mm -hmm. You're going to move into a beautiful home. It does need some work. It has to have the roof replaced and some things like that. She does and not he's care. going to do that for you because he wants to impress you. When nice. I moved in, we did all kind of stuff. But I just need you to know that every room in this house... By the way, if he was doing that stuff in the beginning and then stopped, you have to ask yourself as a woman, why has he stopped doing things for me? What have I stopped doing for him that made him want to do those things for me? Because this is a two-way street. You don't just get shit for free just for being a woman and being in a relationship for a man. You miss the part where you have to work towards a common ground. It is work to be in a marriage. You have to both come to the table and compromise on your needs and your wants to make your partner happy. You get a little bit, you give up a little. They do the same thing. That's the common ground. People want it one way or the other now. It's I get everything or they get everything. And then that power dynamic is never going to last. She never did the due diligence on herself to ask herself, what have I done differently? What have I changed about myself that he's no longer in love with me? Maybe I'm starting to nag him too much. 
Maybe we're getting in too many fights and arguments over little things that don't matter. Maybe I'm insufferable to be around. Maybe I've become that whittled old rose that nobody wants to look at and be around anymore because I constantly complain and nag about every single thing because my life is set and I have nothing to do because he took care of everything. By all means, she's the new model is moving into a big house that needs a little bit of work. From the sounds of it, the guy is well off. They're doing fine. She didn't have any money problems. She's looking like she's already in another place and doing just well even after leaving him. So why leave a man like this? Because you couldn't stand to be around each other anymore or you couldn't stand him. Why? Because you felt like you could do better, that you deserved more. And now you're finding out the reality that, oh, I actually had a good one. You just had to see him with a woman half your age. That's what happened. Oopsies. All of a sudden, mate guarding just sprung up out of nowhere. Now she wants him back deeply. Now she has to make a coping video on TikTok talking about how you got to fix the roof. He's only going to do this in the beginning. Not if that woman keeps up who she was from day one. It's only when you change as a person does the other person change for you too. If you keep growing, keep developing, the other person you're with will keep growing and developing too. And if they stop, you kick them out the door and find somebody else. That's really all it is. I can go on and on, but let's hear her story. It's going to have a memory of me. Mm-hmm. It is. I hope you don't have a heart. See, mate guarding right there is going to have a memory of you. Sweetheart, I'll be completely honest. You will not come up on that man's mind when he has somebody half your age prancing around there cooking him meals, doing bedroom acrobatics, and just making his life full of joy and happiness, stress-free and peaceful. You're the last thing he's going to think about. The only time you get brought up is when the kids bring you up. Time with that. Like y'all's bedroom that y'all are going to share? <laughs> We did so many things in that bedroom. Oh my gosh. Stuff I can't even talk about on TikTok or I will get thrown off. And if you want to go from that room into another one and think you're going to make that y'all's bedroom, we did it in there too. Mm -hmm. Every room wow. of this house, every room, kitchen, dining room, living room, game room. <laughs> that you know, it's funny because this video, I, <laughs> I get this is how women work. The new younger one's going to see this and go, cool, I'll top it then. I'll do things you could never do. I'll bend in ways you never did. And I'll give him all the things he's ever wanted that you said no to. And then you will disappear from his memory banks. That's how women work. This type of competition isn't going to hurt the new younger chick. That she's just going to see that as a challenge. And then laugh about it. Took your man anyways. Oh, you did it here? Cool. Now I do it here. Where you used to. Took your man. That pool table will support a lot of weight. A lot more than you might think. And I'm not saying this to be petty. I'm just saying you just need to understand that a lot of memories were made here. A lot of memories. And so, yes, you can paint it. It's going to need new painting and some new floors and oh, stuff and make new memories. In. But mm -hmm. just don't be surprised if the memory of me pops up in his mind occasionally. And the pool? Oh, my gosh. You are going to love that pool this summer. However, if you've got a problem of us being you know, in that pool, mm, you'll have to get him to dig you a new one. Yeah. Um, diving board on there too. But Look how pathetic it is, man. That's all she has to hang on to. Memories of places that guy blew her back out. That's it. This is what you're left with when you leave your man. He's now got a whole new woman that he's actively engaging in all those things. He's living them. He's not remembering him. He doesn't sit at home at night with the toy and just remembers all the fun things they've done. That's you. That's this one right here. That guy is living his life with a whole nother woman in that big ass house with a pool and God knows how many other rooms. Redecorating them all with man chowder all day, every day because he's got a fresh piece in there. The slide? Oh, no, 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 girl. You're fine with that. We were too big to go down the slide. So no. Oh, but the boat that you're going to enjoy this summer? Hmm. Memories. Boats, you can pools, clearly see houses. how boats, pools, big houses. You see what I mean? That she will be fine. You know, I spend a lot of time. Put on a facade, but it is just not working. The next clip will show you that since she divorced her husband, she keeps posting videos of her being sad while trying to convince her audience yes. that she will be fine. You know, I spend a lot of time by myself. And I'm not usually lonely. I enjoy my own company. But today's been different. The last couple of days have been different. Pause. Where's your husband? Oh, yeah. He's man chattering up all those walls. He's on his boat with his new 20-something-year-old, whatever she is. 
Oh, he's in the pool. He's on the slide. He's in the billiards room. He's creating memories. What are you doing? You're crying alone in a car on TikTok. God damn. The wall. And I just have to shake this off. I have to get through this. Bruh. And I will. No, you won't. I always do. No, not this time. Stop the cow. I let my guard down. Oh. And I knew better. Mm. Nope. No, you don't. Won't make that mistake again. Lesson learned. Damn. Unbelievable. What's the comments on this one say? Don't feel sorry for women who cry on the internet. I really don't feel sorry for her. She's an adult who took decisions as an adult, maybe influenced by society slash other women. Crying for the results in public seems a way to get support and pity from society. It doesn't work anymore. Remember, most beggars are men and women don't care at all. That is also true. Just wow, single mom of five kids and the guy she came and saved her. How does she freaking repay him? Doesn't seem like she shared an ounce of gratitude, not to mention how she tattled on how terrible she is as a partner and a person. <laughs> 51 years old, five children, divorced, still behaving like an unbearable 15-year-old. Grow up. Nope, that one will not be growing up. She knows she blew up her multi-generational family, but was fine to do it anyway for her selfish reasons. The pride is disgusting. And the pride comes before the fall, too. Doesn't it? Doesn't it always? Someone here is quoting Socrates. Trust not a woman when she weeps, for it is her nature to weep when she wants her will. <laughs> oh, man. How do you blow up a multi-generational family for fifis? And you're on TikTok, which is already a red flag. If your woman's on TikTok, that's a red flag. Just look at the indoctrination that it has on a 51-year-old with a ton of life experience. Um, imagine, man, if that person can get indoctrinated into moronic, strong, independent, boss babe thinking to leave a multi-generational family where her life was set simply for her fifis, probably coming across some echo chamber garbage that telling her... That if her man doesn't leave the seat up on the toilet, that he's a piece of shit and she needs to leave. She deserves better. And went ahead and did it. And then a few videos later, when the euphoria, the internet brownie points, and all the attention dries up from internet strangers, you're left alone to ponder your decisions in your room. Thinking if you made the correct decision, only to confirm you didn't by crying on TikTok a few days later about how it's so difficult being alone. This is wild, man. Now imagine that on someone that's like 18, 19, 20s, in their early 20s, mid 20s, that grew up on this stuff or doesn't even have a shot because they haven't even formed their own personality yet. They're not even their own character. They just do what other people want them to do, what they've told to do, and what society tells them is in. These people haven't even developed themselves. So they take their cues from the internet. Imagine, and now you're trying to date one of these people and you wonder why it blows up in your face. Most people in the West today don't deserve to be in a relationship, let alone get married. I'm sorry. Psychologically and socially, marriage in the West is dead. You as a man shouldn't even entertain the idea of marriage in the West. For women, it's simply become a day in which she shows off how much she could extract from a man, a simp. She doesn't look at you as a partner. Marriage isn't for children and building a legacy together. It's having my day where I feel like a famous celebrity, where everybody's looking at me and everybody's catering to me. And I get to show off with all my girls who had the biggest day, who got the biggest rock, who had the biggest wedding, who had the most guests and the most memorable experiences. That's it. Because after that, the real hard part begins, a marriage, which they're not interested in. So they leave in record numbers. 80% of women initiate divorces. Why would you do this in the West? The idea of marriage is sold to women as somehow a patriarchal concept that suppresses them. All of them are sold this why would you get married in a society that drills that into the heads of 50% of the population? Come on, man. Think about it. Zero reason. Forget prenups. Yes, you have to live in a place where you have to spend tens of thousands of dollars to get a proper prenup done with all the procedures necessary so it's ironclad in court and some states still don't accept them. Unbelievable. Don't cohabitate. Don't get married in the West. If you do, good luck. All the smart ones are thinking ahead of the game and they're doing it overseas and staying there. You just got to be a little smarter and think outside the box on how to make income happen remotely. That's it. Solve that puzzle. You're good to go. It's smooth sailing from there. Or you could take the risk. We'll see you guys on the next one.